Well, dozens of workers at the General Motors plant in Lockport, they have been laid off now. It's all due in part to the ongoing strike by the United Auto Workers against the big three automakers. But the workers being sent home locally here, they're not among those that are on strike. We hear more now from Two on Your Sides, Dave McKinley. The loss of jobs here should really come as no shock as the strike enters its fourth week, according to Art Wheaton of the Cornell Labor Studies Institute in Buffalo. No surprise whatsoever, so you knew it was going to impact it. As the production of vehicles halts at plants where workers have walked out, fewer cars being made means less need for the components used to manufacture them, including the radiators, condensers, oil coolers, and HVAC modules produced at GM's Lockport operations, where 48 workers have now been laid off. And they currently make the front and rear HVAC units for Wentzville assembly. Okay. So with Wentzville being down, it trickled down to Lockport. Could there be more at other plants locally? While possible, Wheaton says it depends. Part of it is a matter of space. So if they have room to make the engines at the Tonawanda engine plant and they have space to store them, they could continue making them knowing that they're going to want to make up that lost production. The union doesn't have to dip into its strike fund to compensate the Lockport workers. After all, they weren't on strike. They were laid off so they could get unemployment. But despite that, Jensen says these members will get strike pay as well, in part because it'll be two weeks before their unemployment kicks in. So the union in turn said, well, hey, we'll make sure that those members laid off are taken care of. And Wheaton says it also makes sense for the union to keep those members who lose their jobs because of the strike in the fold and staunchly behind the union. They need the support. They need to say, look, it's not your fault that you're being told you have to go on unemployment. So we don't want the workers to suffer for what's going on at the bargaining table. So it makes sense to me. It is also true that New York is one of just two states in the country where receiving strike pay does not qualify you from receiving unemployment benefits on top of it. On your side in the newsroom, Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.